<laughs> Hello. I'm here again. Doing a bit of a unplanned video. Like, I, I wasn't going to be filming today, but all of a sudden I decided that I think I should, because I'm well behind <laughs> again. Um, all right, have to point this out first. Is he behind me? Four books. <laughs> we finally sorted out the, the books on the other side of the bookshelf, you know, the big piles of new books I had waiting to um, be put on the shelves. So, the shelves on both sides have now been emptied of everything other than cookbooks. And I still couldn't fit them all. Uh oh. But what I'm going to do is go through the shelves because I know there are some books there that um, I might just donate because. Um, don't really fancy them for one reason or another or the recipes I tried were just no good or w whatever it is I think those can go so hopefully I can then put in all the books <laughs> and stop buying new ones okay maybe one new one arrived yesterday and two the day before. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's start again. My name is Laura. You're more than welcome to say Laura. But Laura is the Finnish way to pronounce it. And this is the channel called I stitch birds because I like to stitch birds. They're cute. Even though someone did suggest that the channel should be called now I stitch birds and snow. Yeah, I'm certainly buying a lot of those snowy, snowy scenery. Because <laughs> they're so lovely. They're so lovely. God. Why do people make such pretty patterns? They are just impossible not to get. Um, I do home visits. So this is a home visit. It might be your ho first home visit by me. Or you might be here for the... Is this like the 29th? No. Is this the 29th video? No can't be I'll have a, I'll have a look so that we can get this right let's see oh no this is the 30th video wow 30th video oh that is exciting so this might be your 30th home visit so I have come to check what you're doing what you're working on how your stitching is moving on and if needed I can do some stitch police duties especially if you're not stitching anything with back stitching because back stitching is like the best part about stitching so <laughs> why do I have a feeling that if you if you didn't like uh, back stitching when you first started watching my videos you're still not enjoying it <laughs> Maybe you'll just enjoy me talking about it, that, even though I, I take that. Oh, and uh, please excuse all the redness here. Turns out that the red bit that I had, and now further up here, I think it's called perioral dermatitis. It just randomly comes, puts little spots all the way, and then might go one day. How great is that? Like... It's been getting me down a bit, I must say, but um, my lovely husband says that, you know, I'm still just as cute for him, so that's good enough for me. <laughs> um, what else did I need to say? 
Oh, yes. I think what got me into doing the video is that I received a package today from my wonderful friend Marion, who lives in southern Germany. And she sent me lots of goodies. Mm -hmm. Some lovely German biscuits and chocolates and some lovely things. And she sent me a little stitchy kid. Oh, so, oh, I find it just so touching because she's not a stitcher. So it's like, it's so special then that um, she got one for me. Look, it's by Pervin. Reading is excellent. Well, I will most certainly be stitching this one. It's really cute. <laughs> Oh, she's lovely. She's lovely. So cheered me up today. Even though the posty woke me up from a nap. Because I am not sleeping well at the moment. I'm seeing nightmares again just about every night. Which is not great. It started with... Um, nightmares about the retreat that is coming up next month. Even though I'm looking forward to going, I still get the anxious dreams. But now he has moved on to all kinds of nightmares, so I get a really weird selection of them. Just looking at my books, if you're wanting to see what books are there. Because, I mean, they will be a bit different because there were so many new books added. Ooh, under that side. And I have a stick here. It doesn't have anything at the end. It's just a stick. Because sometimes at night, I start hearing, hearing like scratching from the roof. Freaks me out. I think it's a possum. And I don't know if it's that it somehow sees a bit of light there or something. But you hear like... So I have the stick there to... Bang on the roof. To make it go away because I am so scared sometimes that a possum will come like through the roof like just fall down I mean it shouldn't I mean the roof is solid but I still have that fear and oh gosh it makes me feel so oh so uneasy yep no happiness at all but is it time to talk about stitching a little bit? Let me get the other thing out. There we go. So I have my pictures of some new pens that I bought. Yeah, how about we start with a couple of pictures? Yes, let's look at a couple of new, new pens. So... Here is the one I bought first, which is a beautiful, I think it's like a Paris street view. It looks amazing. It was so funny when I showed it to Florina and she was like, you know, we get, we get sucked in by the pretty colors, like here, the, the green and the roof and totally sort of ignore that the rest of it is just like beige and brown, which will be awful to stitch. But what can you do? I thought it looked so beautiful. But who is it by? Of course, I can't remember right now, so I will add it here anyway. Then the next one I bought. Look at those chickens. They are so cute. I could not say no to those. I absolutely love them. Um, I can't remember <laughs> how anything was by so I will just add all of the designers just under here because I can't remember. But um, if you use Saga and you buy her patterns, she does have Saga um, versions for them. So just need to message her and ask and she'll happily send them. Then the next one, I find this just so cool. 
Isn't that amazing? It's it's like origami chicken. I I love the colors and just it looks fabulous. Um, she also has other animals in that same range. I know there was a frog because I sent that link to Judy, um, who is Aussie in Kiwi World. So, because she likes to stitch frogs, so I keep tempting her with frogs often. I think she was going to get it as well. I think that's just so amazing. Can't wait to stitch that. And let's look at one more here. Yeah. That is the March subscription pattern from Daria Mastrakova. And um, I think it is actually a really cute one, except that those chicks look evil. They look so angry. I don't, I don't know if it's just because of how the eyes are done, like in Saga, so the preview looks like they're so angry. <laughs> that is it that I think the eyes are French not, so I'm hoping that when, when it's actually stitched, they are not, they are not so angry. But I think I may just stitch that, that one. Because I don't really have Easter ones. I do have a couple of patterns waiting. I just seem to just forget that when Easter comes to actually start one. I mean, not that I'm a, any in any way a seasonal stitcher. Or I stitch whenever. Whatever, whenever. It doesn't matter at all. But, um... I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> you know, it's, it's so nice to always talk stitchy stuff, you know, with all of you because you guys are just so wonderful. I really am so happy I found you and I'm so happy you found me. And, and you stay there, stay there. <laughs> okay, so as usual, I have plenty of little videos to add which makes my video making always really fun because I don't have to try and remember everything for one long thing while sitting here so let me have a look okay I have that one that one that's a third three four right I am going to play five videos and I'll see you right here when you have watched those oh great I get my video done and film you know all, all uploaded today this is my first little video for this next one and of course I start stitching without filming that seems to be like the regular thing now but it doesn't really matter that much so you saw this one in the last video so i am working on the forest stream again i just really honestly i love working on the 28 count linen or 28 count evenly it is so relaxing to stitch on and it's like i know that i pick this and it's going to be really enjoyable and when i was um, getting some colors out from the boxes, I decided to just work on blends tonight because it does have a few blends and I don't know, sometimes I seem to be really in the mood for doing this, I think, because often you're really not in the mood for it. So tonight, that's that's all I'm concentrating on. So I've started here, just, just doing this bit here. So what's that? I think it was like 501 and 502, so green what's the rest of the colors i got some browns some bit sort of grayish brown and green oh that's a nice green almost finished as well need to redo i got out a bunch of dmc so whenever those colors come up i'll redo the bobbin and get them get them back up all full 
but yeah I, I sort of decided that um I'm going to be working like on on this quarter and picked colors according accordingly because I don't know I always seem to pick colors that want to go like off the of the uh, frame so now I'm just gonna just just this area and we'll see what I get done a couple hundred stitches would be lovely like at least a couple hundred all right I'll, I'll get on with it and here we are I think I made some pretty decent progress on this one I am well well happy <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think like most of this is done now, wasn't it? I don't think it was there when I last showed it to you. Some of the brown here, some more greens, did all sorts of colours. So, like the plan was, I worked first on many blends. Then, when I got to the end of those, for I mean, for the area, I mean, the other areas still had blends. Um, then I picked a few just other colors and did a bit more stitching. Then I got to these darker greens here and I decided it was time to finish and put this away now. But it really is a nice project to work on and especially, I keep saying it on this 28 count, gosh it's so fun to stitch. Um... But it is going to be big. It is a big project. Because I feel like I've, you know, done like a good chunk of it. Of course, it still looks like it's all over the place. But I'm only at 13%. So it's like, oh my goodness, there's still so much to stitch. But hey, get to enjoy this wonderful project for longer. So. And I, I so, I so love this bit. I'm so glad I did the bit of back stitching so that I can see that they're the rocks and then the water. Like, I just admire this little bit every now and then. And this is sort of like where there's like a bigger pool of water and the middle of, of the pool is this green bit and then it changes to different color on the side. And I believe this is actually the bottom of it. This is also the edge of it, as is both this and this, I believe. So it's nice when you know that you're you're at the ed edge somewhere. It's always so satisfying when you make it to the edges or corners or whatever it is that you have. So, yeah, I don't know, do I need to? show this any closer some wonky stitches there but there are people who like to see the stitching close up so this time I am going to going to show you uh, here going to the right this there's quite a bit of this green still to come up I imagine these are going to be rocks here as well. So I've done like the shady bit of the, the rocks. There we go. So I'm going to put this away now and then come back to show you what I'll be working on next. So guess which project is back. Wah! It is the birds and black work flowers, even though you can't really see any birds at the moment but you can certainly recognize what project it is because I have shown this many many times and it is very uh, distinct looking one so I was thinking that my the Vic Stitches retreat is in the first weekend of May so that's like five weeks away now. That how nice would it be to finish this one and take with me to put on the 
what do you call it? Like the brag, brag table or whatnot. Because it is such a pretty project that it would be so nice to show it there. I have this one here. I mean, this is the, of course, the, the last row. So I have two, two rows above here. And they are fully done, except for the <clears throat> uh, French knot, which is pretty much eyes. And I think some of the flowers have maybe have a couple of them. Not much, not many. Yeah, so the second one is finished. The third one um, needs needs all the black, so all the back stitching and whatnot. But all the crosses are done. So this one I have just started put in the first four stitches. So this one needs to be fully done, as is as does the fourth one on this row. Yeah, so two to do fully, one to do the back stitching, and I don't think there are any black crosses there, but if there are, those as well. So I'm wondering if I can do it or not, because these these um, blocks they are surprisingly full on. There there is a lot there to do. Like, really, just a lot. And it takes quite a while. And after, I usually, you know, start with massive enthusiasm. And then I burn out. <laughs> um, but I figured that it would be worth trying. Even if I get it closed, and maybe I could finish it there. I don't know. So... We'll see. Um, I'm glad I took it out now instead of having like exactly the four weeks or five weeks is certainly much nicer. So like if this week I would get all the crosses done, next week do all the black, then on the third week finish the, do all the black on the other one. Then I would have two weeks where I could, for the last block, so I could one week do the crosses again, and then on the week before retreat, do the black again. I mean, that doesn't sound too bad. And if I could get any more, then I mean, great. And if I take breaks to work on other things as well to keep me going... Well, it's well worth a try. I'm I'm gonna give it a go. Mm -hmm. And see where I get to. I'm just yeah, don't like stitching to deadlines. But it kind of doesn't feel like that sort of thing because it's not a gift or something I'm stitching for someone. Hmm. Okay, well, I can only try. I am actually really happy to be stitching. I've got the pattern there. I decided to watch um, some Florina's videos because I know what she works on, so I can just let her just ramble on there. <laughs> videos that I barely need to watch because I know what she's been working on. But I'm so behind with her videos as well, so um, I just I just really, really need to binge watch floss tube videos yeah anyway i am already excited to come back then and um show where i got to with this one and as usual i got my colors oh my gosh look at this mess it's, it's always a mess <laughs> oh no mind okay see you later So I popped out to um, see Amanda just a couple of hours ago. Yes. She had a birthday gift for me. Of course, I haven't opened that yet since my it's today's Monday, and my birthday is on Friday, so I put it away for that. But she also gave me this. As you know, if you have been watching me for a while. 
Her and I always have some sort of cell on the go. At the beginning of the year, we started the most current cell, which is the Boothy Threads um, Paradise, which is the um, parrot, or the parrot head. And after that, we already have the next two picked. <laughs> I was well prepared. <laughs> Oh, I love that. So many ready, even though it takes a while, quite a while to stitch one. But there's no hurry. I mean, it's just, you know, us do stitching it. So um, one finishes it sometimes well earlier than the other. So it really doesn't matter, you know. I'll just move on to another one. Anyway, yeah, after this current one, we have a nice kit with a moon. Then we have a, a hair. And this will be the one after that. I mean, isn't that beautiful? I was really chuffed when Amanda suggested this one. I didn't think that it would be her thing at all. I mean, it's totally something that I would happily stitch. So I love all the trees. And of course, I love the stream. I want to jump in there. Our little swim. And it's nice that it also has like autumn leaves. So some really fun coloring. So you get the green, you get some blues, so almost like more, more like teal. And then you get the really bright oranges and yellows. Seems like the um, background is half stitches, but everything else is full crosses. There's only a little bit of back stitching, so it's just these twigs and the branch branches there. And here, yeah, I think that's all. So it's a kit by Magic Needle. So it's a Russian one. Uh, 14 count Ada, so I got Ada, white one. It has gamma threads, which are Russian ones. They are not my favorites usually. So I'm gonna just see what I think when I actually open the package, which won't be for a bit. If I don't like them, I might just look for, look for uh, DMC equivalent. So the nice thing about these is that they have a colored um, pattern, which makes life so much easier. Can't really see anything else other than a few threads in there around the fabric. I suppose that's why, because we were looking there, you know, it's fairly big, but I guess that's because it is 14 count Ada, so of course makes it a bit bigger. Would I change this to 16 count? I must say though, the 14 count is so nice to stitch on. And if the coverage is as good as it is here, then it will be fine. But if I use DMC, will the coverage be as good? Or would I then want to go for 16 count? Well, I have at least a couple of years time to think about it before we get to this one. So, anyway, just wanted to show you all that. It's so pretty. So, it's 7.30 Monday night. Yeah, I've got an empty fabric because it's time for a new start. <laughs> Oh boy, I got this fabric ready already last week when I was talking about starting everything, or was it the week before? <laughs> you know, when I said I might come back with 10 new starts or whatnot, so I had this fabric ready. But I have been able to put it off, but I think tonight is the night, because like, I'm really wanting to clear up the stuff around me i feel like i am drowning in stuff at the moment so i figured that this is what just waiting to be started so let's go ahead and start it then this fabric will be in a project bag it will be stored away one less thing here around me and i can work on it whenever i fancy so what am i starting 
Can you believe it's another big project? It's this one. It is so beautiful. I just can't get over how beautiful it is. I love all those blues, of course. It's not no surprising. I love the stream or the river. I wish I could live next to a river like that. I love the trees. Like these ones are done with this dark blue 9, 939. And the amazing sky. And and it's nice because there's not not doesn't look like there's anything boring to stitch because things change a lot. Even the sky has like all sorts of bumps and circles and shapes and all fun and then there's the house and the river has oh boy that's gonna be tons of color changing and it even has back stitching so back stitching here and here and around the house and i would imagine that those um branches there as well will be um back stitched so it's just it's just amazing it really is amazing so I'm going to start this tonight and yet yeah, with the dark blue. So no, I think the middle bit is here. So I'm going to start stitching there. Um, I have no plans of how much time I'm going to spend on this. I kind of feel like this is my birthday start. Even though birthdays are a few days away. But I just felt like starting it now. So that's what I'll do. Okay, better get going. Okay, you're back. Was there some lovely stitching and a new kit? Because certain someone keeps getting the new cell ones for us. <laughs> right, and what do you think of that new start? That pattern is so beautiful, but what a surprise, I haven't had much time to stitch it because I'm working on everything else. So the start is very small at the moment. But at least it looks like something, unlike most of my whips. You can clearly see it's a tree. And it's another tree. I, in some way, you know, it would be so tempting to work on this in um, June and do the monogamous month, just working on this. Gosh, it, it, it is tempting, but I don't think I can do, handle it. I, I can't do just one. I, I know myself, I know I burn out, just can't do it. But it's still such a tempting thought though, because I like it so much. Ooh. And um, so then the next thing, I really seem to be liking that the idea of full coverage Thursdays. And you're more than welcome to join me for those if you want, you know. I even um, used the hashtag, hashtag last time, full coverage Thursday. And because um, I, I really do want to try and make some progress, especially with that night city. Like I, I have full coverage whips though. So, I mean, I could work on dimensions or, or even that one that I just showed. But I don't know, I keep feeling like I need to work on the night city one because if I don't, I don't, I don't know. I think I'll stick to it, sort of, at least mostly for now. Anyway, let's have a, let's have a look what I did with that one. Okay, good morning. It is almost quarter to six Thursday morning and it is, again, time to have a full coverage Thursday. Yeah, I... I was a bit bummed with this last Thursday. Um, 
I must say that the lovely comments from all of you um, on Instagram actually really helped and um, made me want to just keep going and stitching it. I, I'm still finding it a bit difficult to get my head sort of right. Um, like to be stitching something so big and and this gonna take forever and I, I don't know I don't know it just it's just difficult <laughs> but um I'll get there I yeah so at the moment I kind of feel like just picking a color each Thursday and just working on that because there's there's quite a few options for which color to work on so today I am going for a blend um I definitely think that blends are for the times when you are when you are enthusiastic enough to <laughs> put up with them. So I'm going to work on a blend of 517 and 3844. Actually really nice to have this one again because it is so lovely and bright. I, I worked on it last time a bit and those stitches just look so pretty. So, so I am going to be working on this area to start with. I think that's another thing. Um, I find it just difficult to choose like what area to work on and whatnot because it it is so vast. I mean, I, I'm not gonna do like do all the same color all over the thing when when considering like this one has still like twenty or twenty thousand stitches. Then again, it wouldn't be the worst thing. It would give a really good frame job for the for this project then to work on everything else. But um, God, who knows? I might tell you next time that that's all I'm going to be doing is working on the 939 and just go crazy. But yeah, today anyway, I'm going to have this blend and... I would be so chuffed to stitch more than I did last Thursday because that was rather pathetic. I did 288 stitches last Thursday, but let's see. Let's see what happens. Any progress is always good progress. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, here I am. My stitch is a little bit more at night and it's my birthday today Woo! so let's start the day by telling you oh sorry I'm fiddling with the iPad so <laughs> yes I could have done it before so here we go it still wasn't a great full coverage day but it was better than last week because I did do 400 and five stitches so lots of this i think i think all of this really then bit a bit here added some more of this dark one and then started a blend here that i will continue next week so this all this is one percent done Wow, need to need to do the same thing ninety nine more times to get it finished and wow. If only I could do this every time I stitch this. So this is um one thousand five hundred and seventy three stitches. So yeah. A fair bit fair bit to do still, but it it really is nice to start seeing it like like the bits starting to come together and I get to do the other window then here and 
the hardest thing still is that I don't quite know where to stitch when I when I start. And because the moving the fabric will be an absolute pain. So you kind of want to just stick to the area, but I don't know. It really helped though that I just, I picked the color and I just did a fair bit with that. When I got fed up, I went then for this, this darker. It's so, so that was nice. So I'm putting this one away now and um, today I'm only going to stitch stuff that I really enjoy. So we'll see what that ends up being. Who knows? I mean, I enjoy all the whips. Hello. You're back again. I was just looking at my video list that... Where are all the other four coverage start and finishes? But I think I must have done one just before filming last time. But anyway, I managed to make some progress, so it's good. I hope that... Yeah. I think it just still freaks me out, that whole project. I enjoyed it, but it freaks me out. So I'll, I'll keep going. And uh, then we are on to some birthday stuff because it was my birthday at the end of March on the 29th. So let's have a look at those videos. Hey, time to get the birthday stitching going. So what whip have I selected? Yes, it's Mr. Fox. I was looking at the list of my whips and to see which one will be calling my name today. And Mr. Fox is the one. I think I'm just going to really, really enjoy working on this one. Well, I always do. So I'm already gotten started yes yes forgot again to start filming already started a little bit here in the corner i decided that i am going to work on a blend again what is it with me and blend but since i'm in the mood for those i think it's fantastic to work on them get some of them done and this is the one that has the most stitches left um so I'm starting this now at 32.27%. Still have almost 9,000 stitches left to do. Gosh. So, yes, this blend has 1,657 stitches here. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So it's, it's sort of white and, and gray. And then each the white and the grey have individual stitches as well, a big bunch of them. So I'm just going to have a podcast playing and work some of this. Because, yeah, getting the numbers down for the colour will be wonderful. All right, I'll be um, eager to show what I get done. And this one, gosh, it is so pretty. I love this so much. Right, and here we are the following day, so the 30th. I've done a bit over 500 stitches. Okay, why did I click away from there? Just checking, did I do 500? <laughs> For 512, okay, yep, that's it. So worked uh i did all this gray thingy stuff here what else did i work on i think some of that color bit 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 all over and a little bit of like the the gray from the blend from this blend just added some of that there so i don't know if it looks any different okay it will look different here but you know that's that's about it. But pretty happy that it got some more stitches added to it. I'm now at 36.19%. I'm going to put it away now because I need to work on other things like the black work flowers if I want to try and get it finished before 
and they retreat. Also need to start thinking about next month and doing the um, Only Kids April. Or was it All Kids? All Kids April. So, because he just looks so handsome. I just so love, love looking at this way. Oh, so lovely. And I'm so happy I made, I stitched all this white here already. <laughs> There's so much of it left. Ay, 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 ay. But yeah, it's always nice to bring this out to work on it. And, but there's only like so much I can do before um, I need to need to change project. But like I've said, 500 stitches is is pretty sort of ideal. Makes me happy. Hmm. Hello, hello from my stitchy desk again. Today is um, Saturday. It is March thirtieth. So my, it was my birthday yesterday. I'm older again. Oh, didn't feel like too bad about it when the day started. But then it's like, I don't know. I feel like I felt more and more down as the day went. <laughs> so I was like, oh well. At least I woke up feeling much better this morning, so it doesn't isn't that big of a deal, right? But um, the absolutely amazing thing was that I received many gifts. I don't think I've had this many um, birthday presents to open. Well, like two decades. I mean, really, I barely celebrated. I'd be more like, yeah, let's just forget about it. And that's it. But I don't know. This, this was really unusual. Daisy. What, what are you after, little Daisy? What are you after? And you're just purring for mommy. Yeah. I know you gave me all the presents. Yeah. I know they were all for me. Yeah. Good girl. She's been napping, so I think she's a little bit needy. Uh, so I thought I would show you, and because I mean they're pretty much crafty ones, so it's like showing haul. But I do want to show first this book that um, Paul gave me, Chicken Therapy. <laughs> it is it is lovely. I haven't read um, very much of it yet, but it's um. It's really nicely illustrated with um with having something something chicken. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be a really lovely book to read and it would be nice to just every now and then, you know, just maybe pick a random page and read that. Keep it here at the desk. So that would be cute. But from lovely, lovely Natalie from Home Home Sweet Hard Handmade. She sent me she surprised me with a kit. Look at that. It's a really cute by Claude. Is it Claude? Well, I mean it's a panna kit. But I guess it's like part of the thing. Look at that. What a cutie pie and a cup of tea. And a bird. <laughs> Perfectly suitable for me. Also nice that it's not like a really big one. So a fun one to start at any time. 60 by 90 stitches. It's full coverage though. It's lovely. Then from Amanda. She had found this one for me. I think the birds are just so cute. And goodness me, what, I'll have some Christmas ornaments? Wow. I don't have many, so it'll be quite quite nice, actually. And these as well. 
would be nice to just, you know, pick one here and there to, to stitch. Nice little project. Nice little project to work on. Yeah, I, I think these are really cute. I don't actually know which one is my favorite. I think on first glance, I think it might be this bird here. I think this one was Amanda's favorite. Was it this one? I think so. Then she also gave me this one. Oh boy, that's going to be a lot of stitching. I know Sabrina from Lady Marmalade in stitches. Yes. Um, <laughs> she has been stitching this. And I know I know she's on a, on a long break from it because it's rather full on with, I think, all the color changes and everything. I think I definitely need a saga for <laughs> this one. <laughs> I love it. I love the blackberries. Big poppies. Are the big poppies part of her hair or is that like she's just hiding there behind him? I don't know. I think it's a pretty one. Like I'm not a big on um, stitching people, but I, I really like her face there as it is. And I think it has it has sixteen count Ada. Gosh, it looks like that pewter color I've been using. Yeah, I think so. I've really enjoyed stitching on the pewter, so twenty eight by twenty eight centimeters to finished. And then it just has the, the usual colors and, I mean, the threads and whatnot. Very pretty colors. Much more, it's funny, like, much more sort of pas pastel looking than you in the kids. I really think. Then uh, one of the lovely meetup ladies, she surprised me with a gift. These. I've been saying I really need some um, Christmas winter bags. Now I got an extra one. <laughs> and I love the cut, the, the green fabric inside. Just goes absolutely perfectly. And it's a narrow bag. Love narrow bags. Can't wait to put something in this. Didn't do it yet because. I haven't been able to spend time thinking about it yet. But, oh boy, this other bag that she gave me as well. Oh, I was in love immediately when I saw it. <gasps> My goodness, this fabric. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? Very Japanese looking. But then... God, the the cloud fabric is amazing, and then I get the rain. Oh, I couldn't believe it! It is so beautiful. Absolutely love it. I kind of feel like this. This should always have um, a rainy project in it. Do I have any rainy projects at the moment? Gosh, surely I should know, right? I know I have a, a rain, two rain kits that I haven't started yet. I do have the the RTO kit with the with the puddles, sky in the splashes. That could move there. I so love those. I love the so nice to have new project bags. Then I have um two more gifts from from Paul. I mean I mean I did hint about this, you know. 
That's all. But you know how it is. Can that one? These are felt cuties. These are so super cute. Every page has like, you know, cuter than the, the previous page. I, I really want to make these, all of them, or the little capybara there and love the kangaroos and all, all the ones in here are by, at least judging by the name, by Japanese designers. I'm going to show you. God. Look at these and I'm like, that one, that one, but where is it? Here we go. Surely I need to make these. I love these, they're absolutely amazing. Just need to find a good place where to order some nice felt, I think. But to tell you the truth, I do actually have also several felt kits waiting to be done. They've been waiting probably a couple of years, some of them, and I may have two other books with felt dollies. <laughs> oh, and a bag of different color felts that I ordered with one of the books. Yeah. I think it's just one of those things that I'm really wanting to do, like really work on the stuff I have. I'm just a little bit scared, you know. But I'm starting to think I'm too old to be scared now. Do you agree? I think so. Okay. Then a kit. But this is... An embroidery kit. I have had my eye on this for a while. And that's why I sent him a link that like if you're looking for a gift for someone. Dot dot dot. That's this one. A magpie. Isn't that fabulous? It looks so good. I mean, I am no good at embroidery. I find it quite difficult. But um, these seem like durable. They're not like, you know, you're creating those multi-layered amazing things. So there's a, there's a bit of fabric used here. There's also some sequins. And then I think it's at five different kind of stitches. So... And they don't seem like that complicated. So I should be able to do it. And so it came with everything, a hoop and and a water soluble pen, the threads, the fabric, and everything that I need. Really good instruction booklet. So I am I am very keen. It is from an Etsy shop. I think it must be called Curiously Stitched. Since that is as it marked by, like who it's by. So as soon as I find some courage, I really would like to start working on that. And, and because I, you know, I don't have to hurry. Just do like one area at a time and I think I'm actually the most nervous about tracing it on the fabric like getting that bit right because if I don't get that right does it mean that it will be just terrible so hmm Anyway, 
I shouldn't think about that, should I? I, what a surprise, I also have another embroidery kit that I bought probably three years ago or longer ago. Kind of has the same problem that I just haven't dared to start it. And that is done completely with just black thread. Because I wanted just something that I felt like could do. Oh God, I have so many like different kinds of crafty kits that I just haven't dared to start. Mm. I don't want to wait anymore. They're, they're really nice ones too, like really nice. Different different kinds, like I have a few, like, what do you call them? Like slow stitching ones? Where you have like the like the image that you're gonna go for and the little scraps of fabric that you then put together and so def different kinds of decorations stitches like over it and whatnot I think I it's that usual fear of it turning out just absolutely terrible just not being good enough with what I do, but I need to start somewhere. I don't know, should I start gathering together all my kids and just... Maybe I should gather them together. Write what's in them in pieces of paper and put those in a cup or envelope or something. Maybe add there also um, a few things that I have, like like to fully finish uh, cross stitches stuff that have been um, sitting around, like even on the shelf behind me. There's a couple of things that have been waiting there for a couple of years because I'm just too nervous to try. And. Just pick one and just go for it. Just make it happen. I mean, if it's something where I need to learn to sew to finish it, well, I better get that sewing machine going then and finally learn. My gosh. I, th I think I need to do it. Well, I'm sure you'll be hearing about it sooner or later then and... Yeah, it's really exciting though. Like they are really fun. I do wanna, I do wanna work on them. Okay, okay, okay. Enough, enough for now. No more talking. I'll get back, to, back to stitching so that I'll be back with more stitching updates. Right, and you're back. Um, what did you think of the lovely gifts I got? Because I thought they were so nice. It was just really nice surprises and made me happy. And also got to work on Mr. Fox again because it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I could I work on it <laughs> monogamously? No. No, I can't. I'm so always excited when I take that whip out. And, but then I do come to a stop. It's like, can't keep going anymore. Um, so I talked about the craft kits. And I did go ahead with that. So let's have a look at another video. With me uh, drawing out the, the first one. Hello again. It is Sunday mid-afternoon. And yes, I have decided to go ahead with the working on those projects that have been sitting around for years. I'm, I'm surprised if I have anything that hasn't been there at least a couple of years. 
So I sort of looked around a bit, wrote a list of stuff that I have. It's mainly um, some sort of kits that I've gotten, but it does have one, two, three, four, five, six um, cross stitchy thing that need fully finishing. I mean, of course, I would have a list of hundred probably if I went through the all the stuff in my finishing bag. But these are like the ones that I have bought as a um, like a kit that came with finishing stuff. Or um, there's one thing that I've been wanting to frame and it, it's sitting half finished on the bookshelf because I don't quite know how to finish it. So I really want to figure it out because it's, like I said, it's like 50% done. Um, and that's Paul in the background there making sounds. But other things are like the ones that have come with, with the hoop and instructions, you know, how to finish it. So things just really want to get those done finally. So some of these are really, really scary. Okay, they are all really, really scary because I don't know how to do them. And I'm I'm just so scared that I'll make just make a big mess. But is it isn't that still better than not doing it at all? I I I want to try. And if I at least, you know, then I can at least concentrate on just one of them at a time. Maybe watch some YouTube videos to figure out how to finish them or, or how to even start them, really. Okay, I do have the magpie thing that is only a couple of days old in my stash, so. And everything is, is here, so. <laughs> so. I got Paul's phone to film with because I made a spinny wheel on my phone, which wasn't, of course, that clever because I used my phone to film, so I couldn't really film and spin the wheel. And I wanted to do this on camera. I am <laughs> scared. I think I have 22 things. And if I find more things that... Oh, I do actually have more things because I have a at least a crochet thing to finish. Okay, I'm just going to do this first one now with what I have here. Okay, let's just, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, it's making sounds. Uh oh, oh, that's scary. Oh, it's the bluebird. Oh, it's a, it's one to make my mum. That's a finished um, cross stitch. Let me just grab it. So, why this one? <laughs> why? This one, I think it's just, just Nen. So it of course will be folded and cut and filled and sewn. I need to make the legs. Oh dear. I have wanted to finish this for so long, but whenever I tried to like to sit and read the instructions, I I just find it just so hard to understand. I think it just I just need to do it. Just fiddle, fiddle <laughs> till it's done. It's so it'll be so pretty though. I mean that that is it just looks so beautiful. And the bird does have a like a berry in his mouth. Somewhere here, the... oh, there we go. All right, let's have a let's have a better look. So 
So here is the cover from the so just an um bluebird tweet. So that is what it will look like. It doesn't have the flower, but um, the bird has a little berry in its mouth. So there's the tail. You need to do the legs. And yeah, somehow figure out the filling it and um, sewing it. And comes with the the little bits, the tail and the legs. And the instructions. I know that lovely Calico Whimsy has finished this, but she said it was such a long time ago that she all she remembered was that it was very fiddly. Oh my. Okay. I've got my first one. Um, I don't have any I don't have any plan or expectation sort of when this needs to be finished. It's just that it is the current one because some of them might take longer because I will need to learn some skills or stitches or whatever. But yeah, I'll be back one day, hopefully with uh, the finished thing. I'm excited though to be starting this. And if I haven't finished during this video, give me give me some tips <laughs> to finish it. Okay, time to read the instructions again. All right, yep. It's a one to FFO. I am still nowhere near finished with it. Um, I'm scared. I, <laughs> I really am scared. I am on instruction number two at the moment. <laughs> this is for us, I'm made. I, I managed to, to print out and cut the templates for some of the things I need. And I cut, use the templates to cut like the, what is the stuff that you, you iron onto the fabric, like to make it more solid. So that's where I've gotten so far. So next step is to get the iron out, actually iron those bits in. And then see what's after that. So it is going to be moving very slowly, but as long as I am... I keep I keep taking those steps as slow as they might be. You know, it's all good. I can't wait to get it finished though. And ah for my birthday I actually did buy um pattern for myself for my birthday. It's a pattern I have wanted for quite a while now. Um but it's been a bit expensive. So I was hoping I could buy it on Boosty, but unfortunately that designer does not have a Boosty account, so can't do it. So I did buy it um, through Etsy. I think, um, is it Smarty Owl? Yeah, Smarty Owl is the shop. And this is the pattern. Do you like it? Because I love it. I think that is a wonderful pattern, like truly, truly wonderful. It has, I love those leaves and the, um, the greens on them. And yeah, that backstitched one, well, they're both backstitched, but the one that is only backstitched, oh my, that is wonderful. In the example on the, um, the Etsy, um, listing, it is actually stitched on my favorite fabric, the Ubel Her Eva 28 count. It was stitched on gray and it looks pretty good. So I don't know what fabric I'm going to use. Gosh, now that I'm thinking about it, it would be so nice to use 
the Uber Her Eva, but the like the the beige, very light brown one. I think it's called Natural. It look it would look so good on that. I think that would actually look good on pretty much anything as long as you don't go too dark that you can't see the back stitching. Oh, too many choices. But I'm still I'm so happy I finally have that pattern. And um let's just go back to the little videos because there's still quite a few to go, so enjoy those. Mm, here we are again on Sunday last day of the month. What's up, Daisy? I know you got biscuits there, buddy. Hey, are you gonna go eat biscuits? You're a good girl. Anyway, back to the stitching. So my uh, birds and black work flowers is looking like this at the moment. So I have made it to my goal of this week, which was to do all the colored bits of this block. So next week I will concentrate on all the black, even though I did add a little bit already because I was I was in desperately needing some back stitching. So decided to add a little, <laughs> little bit there already. And I did the black, um, black thread cross stitches as well. So now it's just finishing off the rest of the back stitching which always is a lot on these because um they're so decorative so i'm feeling pretty good especially as of course in my usual um typical way i started stressing about it stitching it so i took a couple of days off and just did other things didn't touch this at all and that really has helped so i am i am so chuffed that it's now like half done so i have now two half done blocks and one that needs to still be started so that's good i am quite excited to do about doing the back stitching yeah okay that's all for now. It is 1st of April. <laughs> no, I don't have any jokes or any anything to lie about. For <laughs> 1st of April. But it is the first day of the All the Whips month. No, All the Kids. <laughs> all the all the kids month i think gosh i'm getting be funny because i was just counting my how many kid whips i have i have 38 yeah 38 kid whips wow it's quite a quite a few kids in the works so i was looking at my list seeing that is there something that particularly calls my name but they do seem to have very even voices today um but like the whips that i have from pre 2022 i have quite a few kids there that i started and and many of them really haven't been worked on like that much, which kind of sucks. I don't, they, they've just been falling in between somehow. So I am starting with a whip that was on timeout as well for quite a while because it is on 18 count. I actually have two of these kids, like, um, they are like, I don't know sister kids they are by a russian company called zolotia ruchki which i think is golden hands 
and they are dawn and dusk. So I'm I told Paul to pick which one I will work on now and he picked dawn which looks like that. It is really really pretty. Really really pretty. So I'm I'm really glad that it's not on timeout anymore. <laughs> it's, I, I, I really do like this. I like them when I got them. I like it now. I might as well show you what the other one looks like. Because, I mean, I have them in the same bag at the moment. So, so this is the Dusk. I think I pre actually prefer this Dusk one. But they're both very nice. Yeah, so it doesn't have a huge start. But I'm so glad that I have done already a bunch of that sun. So maybe I can even move on to stitching something more fun. And I have a saga file for this. So I am really looking forward to stitching with that. It will make life much easier as it always does. So I am at 10.84% and still have 6,151 stitches to go. I am going to be happy with any progress, but oh, 500 would be lovely. So nice to get this month started and really looking forward to working on kids. For 38, I'm certainly not going to work on all of them. I really don't know how actually how the month is going to go. Like, I mean, who knows? I may, I may end up just working on four kids, you know, one for a week and then another one. Or I may just get fed up and keep working on a few each week. I have no idea. And yeah, like I said, I also need to work on the black work flowers. Keep going with that one. So I might. Well, I'm going to start this morning with this kit. But I might like set up some sort of time when I always work on the black work flower one so that I don't start stressing. So I work on that at least a bit every day. Okay. Let's get going. Mm, exciting. So here I am, late in the evening, and I have finished this square. Well, woo, 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 woo. Come on, I am so thrilled. <laughs> it's Wednesday night, and I'm done with the back stitching. Of course, it's still missing the uh, French knot eye. I think there's a couple of, no, three French knots coming here as well. But you know, I will do all of the French knots um, after everything else is done in this project. Then I can go back and do the eyes and whatnot. But yeah, I'm just so happy that I got these done. Gosh, I've been so excited about the, the theme on this, <laughs> you know, of working on all the kids. But God, I just feel like I'm working on all the other things because... On Tuesdays, I work on the retreat pattern. And today, I did a fair bit on this one to get it done. Tomorrow is full coverage day. But I have decided to work on a kid wig for that, though. Then I can go back to the whip I selected to work on first. <laughs> But yeah, it does it does sit on my mind a lot that this one this one is done. So the goal for next week will be to do all the back stitching uh -huh, all the colour all the black back stitching on this one, which should otherwise be done. So that'll be a, a fun one. 
um, quite looking forward to it. And I think if I get tired of just other stitching like this week, I might already get started on it and do a little bit here and there. Or we'll see, we'll see. But um, I'm glad to have two weeks in a row and this just will put back stitching. God, it looks so pretty, doesn't it? Looks amazing. All right, I'll be back soon to show you what I will work on for my full coverage Thursday at his, at, as it has now become. Okay, as promised, I'm back again. I was just wondering what time it is. Let me have a look. Almost 11 p.m. on Wednesday the 3rd of April. And I have taken out my absolutely gorgeous black cockatoo bag i love this so much makes me incredibly happy every time i see this and of course in the cockatoo bag is the secret cocky business Whip. so um i was thinking i'm gonna work on this tomorrow on the full coverage Thursday. It is not a big full coverage, but it is full coverage. And um, I'm sure you remember, if you have been watching my videos lately, that this one needed to be restarted. Well, it ha only had a really pathetic start anyway. And just really needs a lot of loving. Um, I started, yeah, I did, I think, completely this blue bit here and, and then a bit of a beak and whatnot so I think I'll continue on that cockatoo it is it is so lovely it really is so lovely so that's that's what I have so it's still not very much but I am so chuffed that I have restarted this it is a, um, I only have the paper pattern for this one. So I do find it a little bit overwhelming. But I'm just going to pick pick a few colours and um, choose an area to stitch. And just try and concentrate just on that. So I have a feeling I'm going to finish the beak here. Um... Then, if I feel like having some more color, I'm gonna go up here to the to the red area. Otherwise, I could do more gray here. But these grays are not this this a little bit really yellow brownish grays are not my favorites to stitch with. Even though otherwise, I really don't mind grays, but I prefer them to be on the cooler side than these sort of warmer greys. But anyway, yep, looking forward to making progress. Um, any progress will be fantastic on this one. And um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow night to show what I got. Oh, hopefully lots more. I think I will be watching um, floss tubes tomorrow since I have a paper pattern and it will be nice to catch up a little bit because I really am so badly behind and I really really want to see what everybody's been stitching it's always so exciting <laughs> okay bye for now okay cockatoos are back and there is what I stitched not a, uh, not very much, but I did make it to the very top of the, oops, <laughs> I made it to the very top of the pattern, which I'm totally thrilled about. God, it's a pain working on a black and white paper pattern, you know, after, after using Saga and, oh gosh, the stitching just feels like it moves so slowly. <laughs> But still, I was able to catch up on some floss tubes, which made me so happy. Um, 
and yeah get some of this done so i ended up doing a bit of the big didn't finish it because i just felt like going then for the red so then just kept going up at different spots and whatnot i feel like this is now in a really great place to continue from it, it just so helps when you have the, the the top and the bottom so you know where you're at and you can you can stitch from either end you know i can just keep going that way now or if i want to stitch different colors i have a few different areas where to where to stitch from so very happy so i think this will come out again next thursday and i get to work on it a bit more again <laughs> dusty for <laughs> to blow the dust off okay so here i am friday night 10 o'clock in the evening honestly i am starting to feel like i need to go to bed so i have still been working on this one which is amazing i didn't think that i would want to stitch this for very long but i've added quite a few stitches so i'm, I'm pretty happy so here we go <laughs> still looks like a very like a abstract bay painting here almost looks like there's like eyes and a nose here <laughs> my whips just look like this because I'm I just like to just jump to different colors and do um like I suppose I just really enjoy doing color completing at the moment or with this one sort of simple completing because um sometimes there's the same color done in two strands on one strand actually it has had quite a lot of crosses done with white strand which I was surprised about and that made working on this 18 count fabric so much more bearable there is only one color that had three strands which was this tiny bit here thank goodness there wasn't more than that because I absolutely hated doing that and the stitches look awful but I'm okay that as long as you know that that's really is all that there there is yeah so you can definitely see lots of random colors everywhere it has been so fun though that to color complete i i loved working on this because it, the fabric fits perfectly on the 8x8 q snap and i can work on the whole pattern because it fits in here so I don't have to just stitch on the area that happens to be on show here and wait to do the rest of the color when I for when I move the fabric so that's been good oh, I was also happy to do I did lots of this um, half stitchy area here um, it was actually because the color was called like here to do the four crosses and then the half stitches were sort of showing at the same time because I have this on Saga so I decided I did the four crosses and then just did everything in half crosses did it with this gold color and a brown so that was so thrilling I am just I'm so happy I got I made progress I can't remember now what the percentage was when I started. I'm sure you still remember because it wasn't that long ago on this video when you heard it. It was like 10 something maybe, or between 10 and 11. And now I am at 25.57%. So quarter done. Woohoo! So that is, that is amazing. I'm so glad I decided to bring this back from time out and work on it now i am not going to work on the sister project now though because i really need something else now that i ran finally ran out of puff <laughs> but i have no idea what i'll work on next yet quite exciting to look at my list of the oldies and pick something from there yeah all right it's the next morning and which is 
Saturday morning, 8.30. And I just thought that, well, I probably should have filmed yesterday. But I didn't, so I'm just going to continue stitching. Um, I was chatting a bit with Mindy from um, Nightshade, the Nightshade Needleworker now. And I gave her two choices to pick from for the next kit for me to work on. And she chose this one, which is the Dimension Scarden Door. Which really is a beautiful, beautiful kit. Except for a zillion strands that they want me to work with, which is just not happening. There's no enjoyment in using six strands. Like, really, there, there really isn't. So, I have put it on the Q-snap, but I might just well show here. I think I've decided that I'm going to work on this area now. So, some lovely roses and greenery, which I think will be nice after just working on the, pretty much on the door and the cat. But I did get started with those roses last time. So I did the first layer of pink. I think there's like two or three more. What colours? There's the cat. Would be nice to the um, stitch. When you're stitching, wait, 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 wait. There's a little white. So there and here. Oops, you can't see. Here and here. Just to stitch around it so that I could do the back stitching, but there'll be a nice treat when I get to that. So I'm just gonna work okay. I've done already half the the flower pot, the big flower pot. So it would be nice to finish that side of it as well. But I I if I, I looked at the colour, I'm just gonna go in the order, whatever the saga so showing me the colours, so I think I'll be working more on these roses then hopefully get to the greens oh, the pile of colors there it's a mess but yeah i've got some finished true crime podcast waiting to be listened to so that's what i'm going to be doing this morning really excited to work on this one and the starting percentage is exactly 15. And here I am back with the gando on Sunday evening. I got, I think, something like, uh, seven, eight, I think I got like 900 stitches done. This one. Isn't it looking lovely? And look, the cat has a face. A head. <laughs> I just I couldn't leave him anymore without back stitching. It was making me sad to see just the, the lump there. So I sort of did what I could, like where I've already stitched um, next to the cat or around it. So I could do the whole sort of top, which was really nice. But as expected, the main area working on was here did the other side of the flower pot and lots of green here green there and uh, some different pinks for the flowers haven't actually looked at the back stitching of these but i think i probably better wait until they're completely surrounded first so really happy i was actually surprised of how lovely those flowers are looking already too higher up and i put all the threads in the sorter ended up also ordering some more of those because i have been using them quite a bit now this has been a big surprise for me yeah i'm, I'm so happy with this one and um really surprised by working on this kit also like that much um that was unexpected i think that like when i find a 
place where I'm just really comfortable. Like it, it fits really comfortably on a Q-snap. There isn't a whole lot of fabric on either side. And I, I decide on an area that I want to work on. And then I have something nice to listen to while stitching. When when all those are in the right place, I get a lot of stitching done. Unfortunately, it just doesn't always happen. <laughs> oh, I wish it did. But it did here, so yeah, super pleased. Um, I'm going to put this away now and can't wait to show you what I'll be working on next. Well, I need to decide first. But I'll be back. All right, the previous whip got put away. So I am back with the next one. So you can already see the fabric. Do you know which one this will be? No, of course you don't. Because it's another one I haven't worked on in ages. So I <laughs> wouldn't be able to recognize it. <laughs> Just from the fabric. So there again. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you've just watched my uh, first whip parade or something I remember from there. No, it's this one. It's a Luca S kit. Still do not know how to pronounce that bit, so I'll just call it the pear. And I love pear, so that's why I got this. But I haven't worked very much on it since starting it forever ago. I think the biggest problem is, you will not be surprised by this, but it is 18 count fabric. So doing those small stitches um, just was no happiness. And I did, I sort of never wanted to go um, pick it up again, even though I like it. But, as I've been saying often lately, I know our saga file for this one. <laughs> so, I think that will make a nice difference. Looking at it, I'm actually going to grab it there so I can see where I'm at. I've done 10.69% and I still have about 8,500 stitches left. Wow. Okay, was there anything to say about this one? Oops. Yeah, it's pretty much done two strands, two, two strand crosses. There's French knots and some back stitching. It's an Ada, 18 count. Anchor threads, 33 colors, four out of five with the difficulty. And the fabric looks so big for the something. Yes, here is what I have done. So it kind of looks like a start of two pairs. But yeah, the, the stitches just look so tiny. Ooh. I remember feeling a little bit bored as well. Because the fabric looks a lot lighter on the camera than it does in... I think that this would have been tea dyed. That's what the what the actual color is it's 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 brown it's not light like this so that's where i'm going to continue i just had a look at which color has the most stitches and it is a green so i think i'll be stitching some of that green here and here but I don't know, maybe I'll just stick to, it would be nice to just stick to this pair and just finish that one completely. And then move to maybe the next pair or move to one of the three bits underneath. I don't know, I don't, this one just doesn't feel like a, the kind to like color complete. Um, I don't know why, but that is the feeling I have. So I better go with, go with that okay oh. I hope this will be so much more fun than I'm I'm thinking now well I'm not gonna set a high high goal for this one anything is good 
300 would be awesome. Anything above that, fantastic. But I'll, I'll even take 100 if I could. <laughs> okay, here is the last look. Yeah, I can promise there were quite a few videos, lots of stitching happening. So have you been doing the All the Kids April? Because I am enjoying myself a lot. I have so many fun kid waves to work on. So I showed you the pairs. Pairs start last. It hasn't been as bad to work on as I thought it was. I think that maybe I've gotten a little bit more used to the 18 count, at least compared to how I was when I started that kit. I still don't like 18 count though. I, I just don't. I don't. And what a surprise. I also haven't had a chance to work on the pairs very much. But I'll show anyway like the up the current update. I think, well, I worked a little bit here, like this area. And I think here. So, yeah, no, not very much. But it's definitely staying on the disc for now. And, ow, ow. <laughs> and why haven't I worked on it? Because the, the following day after picking that one up, I decided that I'm starting a new kid after. <laughs> it's because I was feeling sad because of the bad sleep. Okay, why am I talking about this? I have a video that tells you all about... Yeah, just watch that. Watch that. We'll talk more when you come back. Uh, good morning from Laura's Stitchy Desk on Monday the April the 8th. It is 9 o'clock in the morning and I am thinking about a possible new start. I said I wasn't going to be starting new kids for this month and I don't know. I'm having a really hard time with sleep at the moment again and seeing nightmares every night. And I wake up so tired. So kind of cheering myself up I think. Um, so, I was thinking about starting this one. I really like this um, Kids by Oven. So it is Oven because in the Cyrillic alphabet, the B looking one is a V. And the H looking letter is an N. So, Oven. Which apparently means Aries, so that's why we got the jeep there. But I got a few of these when kids and I think they're just so beautiful, like the images are just absolutely gorgeous. This one is, is a painting by Sergei Besanov. And I, I just so like the feel of it. Maybe it matches kind of the melancholy, melancholy misery that I, the way, yes, what, what, what the inside of my head is at the moment. And of course it's autumn here. After a re really nice warm weekend in Easter, it just, it turned to autumn then straight away. So it kind of goes nicely with that too. Uh, I worry a bit about being a bit crazy because it is a big one. For me, it's a big one. It's 40 by 31 centimeters. So, I'm worried that I'm, you know, I'm starting yet another big one. But, might as well, right? It doesn't really matter how long it takes to stitch it. It'll get ready sooner or later. So the name of this kit is The Breath of Autumn. Love it that it has the birds there. 
not. I so want to go hang, hang out there. <laughs> just want some goose. I want to drop into that water and hope that it's a good swim spot so I can just float there. I not know that this is going to be rather melancholy feeling to stitch. It's nice that there's then this this grass in the corner and also on this side. And then autumn leaves up top and But I thought let's have a look at this kit. I definitely, God, why do I worry so much? It's not like I haven't stitched before, right? So, let's see. So here is the, the pattern. We're here, very wildly colored. Let's go like, no, let's go one more. It's a few pages. So here is the the key for the symbols, and in a very um, normal way for Russian kids, it shows always underneath what, what the stitch is. So we cross stitch with two strands, cross stitch with one strand, half stitch with one strand, and so on. I think these colors are used for blends. Is there anything else? No, that's it. Then I think there was one more. I'm trying to go for the last page here. Then we go for the blends. So one strand, each to make a two strand cross using numbers three and eight and so on and then back stitching and it says always here two two threads one thread so easy enough or even washing instructions and the advice there as well oh, this is definitely seems absolutely full coverage so here are the threads. I am a little bit nervous about these ones. These are, I think they're Kirov. Let me just check the name. Kirova. Uh, so Russian threads. Definitely um, there isn't the shine that the DMC has. They also don't, don't feel the same not as slippery feeling so this makes me worry a bit that what if they'll be awful to stitch with but also I know that the oven kits are very popular in Russia and really really loved so there are a lot of people who will have stitched the kits with these threads and have managed just fine so surely I will manage to very interesting color palette for something that I'm stitching. I'm usually have um, much brighter ones. Oh, oh dear, let's see. Okay, so we have just a single strip here. Oh, very autumnly. A couple of extra skeins. And then a double-sided and now I wish I had some of those new um, sorters that I've ordered but I think I'll change to that when when they arrive it's not it's not as bad as some are I love all these greens definitely like these side as well they're so pretty very sort of M muted. Like I said I usually have very bright ones, so something different. And then it has sixteen count Ada. 
this um oh there's the I thought that oops yep there is a needle needle stuck here but yes so will I start stitching this and also where to start stitching I mean, I always go for the middle start because that is definitely the most comfortable for me. I find the corner a bit difficult. I think I just can't get the fabric usually to sit right to comfortably stitch from the corner. Otherwise, I would love to go and stitch a bit of birch there. But I think I'll go for the middle one. Maybe I can stitch that part of birch <laughs> but tree instead well I'm gonna ponder now just to make sure but it just feels like something for today this is this is this is my this is this is how I'm feeling today that's the mode well I'll um I'll be back and you'll see if I started it or not. Okay, you're back. So there you go. <laughs> All explained. <laughs> and also what, what I started. And working on that was actually, it really was soothing for my brain. I was hoping that it would be, and it was. And those threads are not bad at all those Kirova ones actually they they lay nicer than DMC because DMC seems to be twirling a lot for me and I didn't have to do like railroading or or keep trying to turn the threads so that they would lay nicely this was actually yeah really surprisingly good and the fabric was nice to work on like it just it felt comfortable. So here's a this the bit of the start that I have. So like I said, I started working on the the birch fence. So going down. With that I just I just decided to just go to the top, pick the colour and keep going down and if I had anything to finish I would just, you know, go wherever. And then go back to pick the next one and keep going. Keep going down. Not go pretty much lower than that so that it doesn't get too complicated. So I'm really happy with this. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah, I still love them. I still love those leaves. They are so lovely. Yeah, nice Ada to work on. Nice threads. I like it. And this one got to go in this bag because I thought that, you know, I would put the like some sort of rainy project in this, but I thought that maybe it's like the melancholy bag. So it has a Something nice and soothing for my my head. Still so love this bag. It is so nice. I think I think that's all that I have worked on. I haven't been writing what I worked on each day on my on the calendar, the big calendar that lovely Sherry sent me. I have just totally fallen off that. Well, I just always struggle to keep up with plans and things. Um, but as I was working on some of the kids, the paper pattern ones, I did a little bit of catching up on on frosty videos because, I mean, really, I am still really badly behind. But I thought I'd mention 
who I was watching, catching up. I was watching, of course, Sherry and Hecate's Needle. I feel terrible that I'm behind with her videos, but I I just am. I just am. Um, then I was watching some of Florina's videos, so her um, channel is Flossie's Corner. And she's lovely, of course. And gosh, she's been putting in so many videos lately. I can't keep up. But I was a bit shocked that I was like six months behind. But of course, I all the time see what she's stitching anyway. So, and, and the same with Sherry. Like, I know what they are working on. I see all the updates. But I still like to watch the videos too. Last, um, this past weekend, I got totally caught up with Christina Calico Whimsy. Um, it was so nice to see what she's been working on. I was totally thrilled to see that she's going to be working on her. Uh, dimensions whips this year but then as plans do they didn't work out because her lovely 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 puppy Mary has been a handful <laughs> so, but she's working on um, quite a few mill hills so they're always fun to see anything she stitches is wonderful to see who else did I watch um caught up watching cross stitch bunny Hooking and stitching. Do you think that we want to be British ones? Then I think I almost got caught up with uh, Mama Bear Stitchery. Is that all I wrote down? I think I then just watched like random episodes by others. I also have um, subscribed to a few people who, who are... Um, who come and see my videos as well. It's like, but I haven't had the chance to watch. So I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll come, I'll come visit, I'll come visit. Cause I can't wait to see what you'll be working on. Uh, I think I need just, well, the problem with me and Flosstube videos is that I try and wait for like the perfect time to watch. So that I would be stitching while watching. I think what I need to do is just watch at any time. If I just feel like sitting in, in my lovely green chair on the other side, watch. If I'm do even if I'm doing nothing, just watch. I don't need to be always at this these ideal circumstances. So then I can start catching up a little bit and watch a bit more. So, is there anything else at all? Let me just have a look. Oh yeah, there's my FFO project, so nothing happening with that. I showed goodies. I showed my new bookmark kit. I have also started um, sorting out my patterns. Amanda had ordered some folders to put her pants in, but she then didn't like it at all. So I asked her for one. She gave me all of them. So I will pass them on to the meetup girls if they want some. So anyway, I've been putting some into the folder and hopefully we'll do that with the rest of them so that they are not everywhere and falling on the floor. And if I want to stitch something, I can just... Get the folder out, have a look if there's something I want to stitch because there really are so many things. I still am in the starting mood. But I feel like it's been the same for a while now. It's like I keep wanting to start new ones, but I also keep wanting to work on the whips because they are so wonderful. But I feel like I'm doing all right at the moment because I'm... I'm, I'm sort of doing a bit of both. Ah, of course, I didn't give you the latest update on the um, birds and blackwork flowers because... I finished another one. 
So my goal for this week was to finish the backstitching on that, and I've done that. And I've even already started doing the colory bits on the last one. Very last one. When I finish this, the whole thing is done. Okay, okay, after doing the all the French knots. <sighs> not looking forward to that, but I will not worry about it yet. But it's yet another wonderful looking um, square. So lovely. And yeah, these doing these colored bits isn't my goal until next week. So I just felt like when I finish stitching what I'm stitch like the other stuff that I'm stitching that day, I can then just pick this up in the evening and you know, just do a little bit. It's it'll be fun to um get those colours done one at a time and put them away and my goodness I can't wait to get this finished. It is lovely. It will be so nice to take it to the retreat. I wonder if I'll work on uh, in the future on something else by the that designer because those those really are so nice. Or do I just need a good break from it? That sounds that seems appropriate as well. Oh, yes, I remember two more new patterns. <laughs> <laughs> so I got this one because that scenery is beautiful um, I seem to have a few with fog as well now I, I, but it's just lovely I'm just so enjoying the sceneries and then the other pattern that I got yeah, what a surprise. Another scenery, but not a snowy one. And this one has a cow. This one, I'll actually put them both here. Because you can get it, well, you get both versions. You get the square one and the round one. So you can then pick which way you want to stitch it. I must say that... I haven't been able to decide yet. I really do like the round one because you still get pretty much everything. It's like you just stitch a bit less of the grass and the sky. And that's not, not exactly a bad thing. But then I look at like the square one, it's like, but the whole pattern is so wonderful. I don't know. But of course, I don't think I'll be starting it anytime soon yet because I have so many other things to stitch. Okay, I imagine I will be back before the retreat. I hope I won't be too anxious. It'll be just so nice to get there and talk to a talk with other stitchers, see what they've been working on. And of course, I will not get any stitching done whatsoever because I'll be just chatting and, and watching, observing, observing the stitchy scene. Yes, that's me. Okay, but I'm going to leave you now and let you get on with your stitching. I'm sure you'll be stitching while watching anyway. And it was so nice to spend time with you again. And um, I'll be back, hopefully in two weeks, but we'll see. Okay, bye for now. Okay, I didn't go yet. Just a little, little bit of extra here. Since Paul came home and brought me some mail, I received two, wah, two needle minders that I ordered from England on Etsy. I absolutely love these. I think this is actually my favorite one of these two. Amanda said that she likes the yellow one better. I need to 
stick this one back on it had fallen off in the mail but they're so cute they're lighter than um because i was a bit worried that uh, they'd be heavy but they're not actually too bad oh gosh cake and biscuit just way too cute okay just wanted to show that